quick dev tip. Did you know that you can tweak animations in editor? This is not going to replace actual animation, but it can be useful. There's a bunch of situations where it could be quite useful. So my first example here, I've got a sitting animation that I got from some store bought animation pack. He's looking off this direction. However, I need him for the purpose of my game to look off the other direction. I don't have the original assets, so I can't actually change the animation, but what I can do is tweak it. So it's real simple to do. If we're going to the animation sequence here, go over to skeleton tree. Here is a list of all the bones inside this character. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to head because that's what I, the bone that I want to affect. I'm going to make sure that it's paused and I'm at the beginning. I'm going to change the world, look, uh, world rotation just to make it a little bit easier. Uh, and I'm going to rotate this by like 30, 40. I'm going to set a key up here and I'm going to apply. And now you can see that my animation is angled off to the right side. Sometimes you have to reapply in the scene, the animation. But as you can see now, I have exactly the same animation, just looking to the right. So my second example here is just a single hit react. We can hacky make some more if I duplicate this animation. What we can do is add slight variance using this animation tweaking. So in this case, what I want to do is I'm going to take the spine. Uh, I'm in local. I'm going to add a key and add a key at the end. So this is quite important because this will make it go back to the correct place here. So I, what I can do is I can look for the kind of extent, the, the main pose, and I can twist and twist back maybe, uh, and then add a key. So we can see that key's been set here. So we can see the shape has changed. We're going to apply that. And now we've got a slightly more powerful hit. Uh, and we can see this, if we go to the, this is the bone that's being affected that we've applied additive animation to, or additive keys. We're going to go to here uh, and we can enable and disable. So this is what we started with. And this is with our animation tweak. We could even, we could extend this a third time. So if we duplicate the, the first guy again, we're going to key, we're going to take spine one, key, we're going to try a slightly more extreme one here, key, key, we're going to go to the extent. And instead of going left side, we're going to try a, a right side, a right side hit. Okay, again, go to key. We can see we've made changes. Apply, save. We'll chuck this guy into the scene as well. So as you can see, it doesn't look fantastic, but we've added variety in maybe five or six clicks. So this animation tweaking in engine is super useful and it's really good for prototyping, game jamming, little cheats and hacks here and there. One of the downsides to this is there's no, by default, there's no rigging. So let's say if I wanted to try and move my foot to be here and have the leg follow, I don't have any IK stuff in. So if I try to, if I try to move the foot, I just literally move the foot, which is obviously not what we want. Um, but it's a super useful thing to, to know about and I'm sure you can find a lot of uses for it.